Hello, welcome back and let's uh, go ahead today without uh, much uh, introduction. Let's take apart this uh, Levener Chinese diesel heater, Levener Pro. Let's see what's inside it and uh, how, how actually it looks and uh, how the quality of the materials feel compared to expensive solutions. First we have the a grill on the intake of the heated air and it's a plastic thingy it's okay for this side because they are really not that big temperatures here so this is one I also have my tools here which I usually use to open up the heaters so I'm expecting to be somehow the same Okay, we have the gasket here on the bottom, we will take this down also. Yeah, it's so and so, I think it will do the job. Um, I know Everspares one have a little bit of, it's like a silicon gasket, this one is just uh, plain rubber, but it should do the job, I think. Okay, let's uh, take down the exit side the ex exhaust port of the hot air and this comes out really easily it's just one piece and actually this is not uh, an exact copy of the ever spare one the case at least this side okay let's move on let's uh, open we have to be careful not to break something. Okay, we have the top case. This is very similar to a Bespeher, probably an exact copy. I don't wanna say this now because we will do a comparison of the two heaters after this and uh, we will see what is different and what is the same. Okay. So we have this uh, out, let's take out the heater, we see the control panel, the ECU, sorry. And now we just have to figure out how to take out the heater from its case. Okay, something like that. We have the insulators here and these just slide back into the play in their places. Yeah, with this for holding the heat exchanger in its place. Okay, so let's uh, get on with the heater. Some things are falling out from here. So, at first we see we see an empty plug here. We have the fan plug let's take this out very similar to some heater I know we have this is yeah this is the glow plug and this should be a sensor overheating sensor or something like that the plugs are weather tight so they have a little bit of seal here they are not not the top topest quality the problem is even with if we have all the weather seals on this one we have the holes here that are not filled so water could still water and humidity could still get go inside here okay yeah and we have a temperature sensor here well this is interesting so we do have a temperature sensor and uh, we have probably the overheating sensor this is just two wires so overheating or flame I don't know exactly what it will detect heat exchanger similar to Eversphere but I think there are some differences and I don't know which are they and uh, right away I see they use different screws okay so let's see if we have 
the tools needed to open the heater here. I did not expect to be different screws. This is a bigger one. So, yes, a hexagon, four millimeters, I think. And uh, let's take down the ECU. ECU looks familiar, at least its shape. Also, the way it's fixed here with these clamps and we have it down. Now the first look, the first thing we can see that everything from inside it's exposed. So actually there is no weatherproofing inside. The, the box is made to look similar as the Spare one, but uh, I think it, you can really easy, easily open it. I will not do that, I don't really care what's inside. Or, or this will be so easy. Oh, so I don't really have to... Well, I mean, it's not really hard to open. Now I don't know why it isn't this side coming off already. Anyway, there is uh, electronics inside here and uh, I, I'm not really good with electronics so I don't know what things we have here. We probably have some uh, I don't know if we have a relay inside or not for the glow plug or is it just a triac or something, a power transistor driving the glow plug, I don't know. Anyway, what we see here is the whole sensor and this should read the fan's rotation, similar to Evaspeher. So we should find the magnet inside the, the fan, let's see, oh yes, here it is. So the same construction idea. Let's uh, take down the fan. And I also bought this tool from Everspare to take out the glow plug. Let's see if, uh, if it's the same. Okay, we have four screws holding the fan. fan should come down well and it's a heavy unit <laughs> so I'm surprised it's really heavy compared to compared to the original one it's running quite nicely I would say well we will just have to test this to see how well they perform of course, we have some thingies here that we can see that they are not really so uh, finely made. The finishing touches are just not there. And I see some kind of welding be between this part of the blower and this right here. So if I, rem I don't know if uh, the original one has this in one piece or it's the same, I didn't really feel like taking a look because I never saw this burst here on the original one so yeah anyway let's move on so the fan the gasket is here also a simple gasket I know on the original ones we have metal okay so let's move on to the glow plug and this is something I want to be careful with. I 
want to take my time because I don't have nothing to change it with. Okay, so it's not that tool. We need we need a wrench here. So it is a 12 mm wrench, but the problem is uh, the position the glow plug was in, I could not fit the wrench in. So this this I couldn't use. I used a pair of pliers, held the glow plug and twisted it. And this is how I could uh, get it out. Yeah, we have the glow plug, so I don't know if it's, it's a ceramic one or not, who knows. It looks like it, but I don't know. We have this uh, rubber, it looks okay, I don't know how long they last, but yeah, it remains to be seen. And I hope you guys can tell me if you ever change the glow plug on these heaters or not. Okay, let's see. Let's take out the burner. And uh, see what's here, how it looks. I mean, I'm not expecting some science function stuff here, just because we all should be, I should be already familiar with the construction of this heater. And yeah, we have the burner, quite an interesting thick tube here. And a welding, we have the glow plug screen inside there. And I'm sorry, I cannot really take a look, a better look inside. I had the chance last week to buy a, a camera, an endoscope camera, but I, I don't think that would have fit here also. And I don't know why I didn't bought it. It was cheap. But anyway, okay, so this is the burner. And we have the heat exchanger and also a gasket. Should we? I will not remove this. It's some kind of uh, graffiti gasket, so could be that this gasket is higher quality than the one Eva Spader uses. At least this one. The heat exchanger inside looks okay. Of course, there are some burrs and things that are not uh, quite as uh, finished, nicely finished as on the original one. Yeah, here also we can see some burrs and so on. So you have to be careful not to cut yourself here. And uh, guys, I think this is it. Yo, yes, we still have the sensor. Should, let's take this down also. No. Interesting. Will it... Will I break something? Now I know this should come out from here. Okay, this is it. Probably it will be 10 times harder to put back. And we have the sensor which reads overheating or Probably that. Okay, guys. So, yeah, it has some kind of o ring here that is pushing on the case. Well, let's hope it does its job. Okay, guys. So, this is it. We took apart the Levener heater, and uh, I hope you saw everything. You need to see if you want to do a quick service on your own one just to clean it up this is the way you should take it apart it's really simple nothing uh, nothing out of the ordinary tools you need not even the, this one for the glow plug like the original ever spare one it has a simple glow plug even though i could not fit my wrench inside it i 
got it out with some pliers so uh, this is it guys thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you on the next one bye bye